We are proud that Zurich joined a group of universities and commercial partners with whom we succeeded with a project at Technology Agency of the Czech Republic. Officials evaluated our project in competitions with many others as important and decided to support our work. We have been working on a development of a vertical takeoff aircraft with a range of 700 km since 2017. And in addition to flight tests with a large scale demonstrator, our smaller drones were key for us. We started working on a 5-meter drone with my colleagues in 2018. At that time, our team had only three members. We bought the largest model airplane, attached the propeller pylons and flew it. Considering the large dimensions of the model, we needed powerful and relatively expensive motors. That's why we made the next drone smaller. So all parts were cheaper and more available, which were important criteria for all future models. We had built drones with a span of two meters three or four years ago. Around the time I became part of the Zuri team. Among other things, we experimented with different variants and positions of the propellers needed for forward flight. We first worked with the pusher propeller concept and then we moved on to the puller propeller. At the same time, our team worked on the drone with a span of 2.7 meters. This aircraft was interesting with twin tail surfaces and had propellers on the pylons that were both top and bottom. Both 2 meters and 2.7 meters were very important for the further development of our aircraft. However, the main goal of the development at that time was our demonstrator with a span of 11 meters. On it, uh, we wanted to verify how what we found on the small models works for us. We took off for the first time in 2020 and in addition to the attention of investors, it was also a magnet for the media. After all the flight tests and experiments, it turned out that the originally considered lift plus cruise concept has some disadvantages. It has slightly higher weight, and worse track in the cruise flight, which negatively affect the range. This is why we decided to fundamentally rework the concept and we are now using only tilting rotors. To verify our calculations, we built a 3.5 meter model, which we flew for the first time in June 22.
flight tests have shown that tilting is definitely the way to go. And we are especially proud of our flight control system. At Zuri, we are motivated by challenges and now we are finalizing the next generation drone, which is lighter, more durable and with a totally new tilting mechanism. In addition to you, our supporters and investors, we want to present results of the tests to the professional public at a major conference or air show this year.